Military court will never give me the chance. I'll go to the grave before I answer in the military court, the, 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 what you call. Or the high court will dismiss this thing because it, it doesn't have a uh, leg to stand on. Then, Manyanya, on this seventh charge, where uh, it is alleged in, in that or about the 17th of March at the near Victoria, the said accused a local indictment behaved with the content and or displayed insubordinate towards his superior officer, uh, Kendall Tross. Acting commandant by not addressing the said colonel on his rank, as I said, going shouting to me. What was happening? What was happening there is uh, um, at long last, <coughs> uh, General Trust, who alleges he has been looking for me left and right together with uh, Colonel, uh, Colonel uh, Raymond Lindsay, who mm -hmm. had been tasked to find me. On the six and seven, finally finds me, gets me into his office. Mm -hmm. So basically, Colonel, uh, Colonel uh, uh, Lindsay called me and said, Hey, the general, oh, he was a colonel. Colonel Dross would like to see you. So I walked in there, saluted the colonel, and stood at attention there, waiting for him to address me. And uh, then uh, that is where a confrontation started. I must admit, it was one, it was very ugly. It was very, I even opened a charge of assault there. Because what happened then, the general said, but you cannot stand at ease after saluting me. Uh, you are on orders. You are on office orders. So I went on, 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 on attention as a person on office orders. Then, uh, but I had not been informed before that that I'm going for uh, office orders. Yeah, yeah because there's a, there's a drill for office orders, and there's a drill when you're called by a senior, like you go to the chief staff, you salute, you put your case forward. So I, I thought it's one of those informal ones. So did, if I'm if I may ask you, sir, and just um, interrupt there, did the adjutant of the unit give you any documentation relating to an office bearing mm -hmm. office or office zero orders? zero? I was only called verbally by Colonel Ramon Lindsay, by and by the way, he was under influence of liquor because he worked under influence of liquor and, uh, and all other things like marijuana. Okay. He was drunk that day. He said, "Colonel Dross would like to see you." Hey, Manyanya, which he called me by the Where were you? He's been loose. So I went with him there. We were together with him. I entered and saluted because we were both lieutenant colonels with Raymond this day. And then uh, I waited for the colonel to address me. And then he saw red, General Dross. But we are on office orders. You cannot now. Uh, stand the way we are standing. Then I apologized and I went to the attention. And then he told me, I can't remember what was the issue. He was basically telling me, I think, that he was having his own OC investigation about the allegations of a month before of, of Colonel uh, 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 Clay Dance. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, so I must be aware he has got an OC investigation, I must participate. And I was like perplexed. I was like, I thought that was when the big the IG started his work. Why are these things now coming in a, in a separate platform? But I was like, like perplexed and frightened. And then he, after telling me whatever I did tell me, he said I must sign if I remember the same incident. Then because I could see that something is not like I said, I'd like to have a, 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 a what to call a lawyer next to me before I sign anything. That made him even more angry, a general trust. He said, but you need a lawyer for what? Then I said, but with due respect, I can see I'm gonna be charged here because I don't understand. The whole thing is confusing. 30 days I'm waiting for the IG to come to me, nothing. Now there's a separate investigation about me, so I need a lawyer. So he was not happy. And then at the end of it, he, he said, you can go now. So remember now I'm standing at, on order, on orders, ne? Mm -hmm. So I saluted him, he was seated. And then he said, I said, you can go. But then he didn't return my salute. I'm on office orders now, which is a different thing. If the chief of staff, I've gone to see him and I salute the chief of staff informally and he's too busy not to receive myself, I won't mind because that's informal, but on orders, it's a drill. I think you know what I'm talking about. So he didn't return my I said, I told you, leave my office, he raised his voice. Then I asked him, I said, can I, with due respect, I am awaiting a return of my salute, I'm on orders. I, I, I stood up, I said, he said, get out of my office. So he walked around and basically to physically throw me out of the office. That is when now Colonel Raymond Lindsay jumped in front of us. He said, he says in court, in the court papers, he says, I could see somebody's going to hit somebody here. Because Colonel Peer was not moving, he was still on attention. And uh, General Tross was moving around to physically throw him out of his office. So that was the conference, what it was all about. But then he goes on, the general alleges that I saluted the wall and I ordered him. So it is not true. I was only expecting what happens as per drill that my sergeant majors taught me when I started to be armed and on mm -hmm. office orders, you will not go unless the, the senior sit there is says you can go. And uh, that was what it's all about.
I'd just like to ask something here. Um, it, it, it's very strange to me that you don't receive any documentation or notification that you are to be brought in office orders because normally the adjutant would then accompany you. No, no, no adjutant. Um, and you were not informed by the adjutant. No, by Raymond Lins, rather. Um, and yet when you walk into the office, suddenly it turns into an office bearing and yes. then you ask to sign legal papers and people get angry yes. when you request a lawyer. Yes. Okay, no, I just, I just wanted to be... What I'm glad about this. is it, uh, when General Trost, because he went to court, I've got his transcript, he admits that I asked for a lawyer. I don't understand. What is wrong with somebody asking to have somebody to defend yeah, his rights? Okay. What is wrong? But now I was this, uh, there was a word used there already that I guess, uh, I don't want to use a bad word, but, well, uh, shit terror, that's the word that the general used. I'm the shit terror of, 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 of the... Of the, of the college. So. And there was mention made at that meeting of a board of inquiry or an, or an, or an, OC's, an OC, OCI? I cannot recall that. I just remember now what happened now when I was to, to be thrown out of the office. That's the main thing that uh, rang, rang so on. But I, I, finally I did get the message that there was going to be an OC. So I, I attended that, that OC's investigation uh, led by one Colonel Anker. He was the chairperson. There was another Colonel Maswangani. Uh, and they were the people, and I went there uh, as a witness. I think the colonel uh, mentioned earlier. They asked me if I want to comment. I said again, I will not comment until I see my lawyers. So that OC's investigation also was never given to me during the PI. If it was supposed to be, it was never. Mm -hmm. I only got it now recently through the High Court. That's when they gave it to me. Now, when I'm, I'm years already charged, then I realized, oh, they had called in Kenneth Clay Nancy. He put a statement in that thing. They had called. I was never given a chance to. Uh, cross-examine those people because I never saw what they had written. Uh, that's why I said they, they could have realized the bottom got into preliminary investigation and yes. cross-examine all those witnesses. No, there, there was there was not. I didn't know. I was just alone. I stood there as a person giving my own side of the story. I was never told who has been there before. So, and that was that. so in your opinion, sir, did everything sort of come after, after the charges? Because it appears it appears to me as a third party sitting here that everything happens. Belatedly, yes, it's not according to system. It, there's a bundle that they gave me after the High Court order of Judge Classen of the High Court in 2004. Uh, I think there was another part that came from them nicely. They are all oh, that's where you find these things for the first time. Ah, so this is what happened. I also see for the first time that Major Martley was also called. He said, I also don't want, he stayed with this thought that I'm too afraid, but he didn't put it. They said, I don't want to participate in this. Manyanya, okay. were you ever been called now formally to be told that now, Manyanya, you've been charged with this, all these charges? Oh, yes. Uh, around about the 7th or 8th, after that OC investigation, there was a Kenyan Sitlapelo. Kenyan Sitlapelo was one of the instructors, then he was he told me that, you know, we are getting charged. I think that was the ninth thing, if I remember well. Mm -hmm. And then I was told that uh, there was going to be a PI, if I remember well, which happened now, I think, on the 20... Maybe the beginning of April, I was back to my unit now at Defense Intelligence. That's where I sit now with uh, 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 Karina Posov, uh, the prosecutor. And um, but still, it was just uh, two pages. There was nothing. Because you could have been called formally into uh, office office orders that now, period, because of this and this and this, we are laying now these charges in front of you, 17, 14, and what, what, what. Yeah, that did happen. It was not as odd as such. I was called informal about Ken Lapello, one of the subordinates of General Trust. He made it signed a few things. Why he signed, which I believed was, uh, I they call it the lawyers, they put a name for it, where they put, in short, what you'll be charged with. Mm -hmm. Now, insofar as the, the, the preparation of the charges in the detail that you have copies of, that was done around the 2003, there's a date there. You know why? Another thing. The charges against me were chopped and changed. 16th of January 2003. Thank you very much. That's when they started to, that's one of the reasons why my lawyer was having a problem preparing for defense. Mm. At some stage, I was charged for this and that, and they changed them, you know. And then I was asking in court, when am I going to prepare my witnesses if you chop and change the word? Because, like, it's a moving target. Now they were trying to corner me somewhere. Because when you were called by the formally to, to be told that you are going to be charged and move the sentence, mm. thereafter, you could have been given those charges. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, only by 2003, mm -hmm. these things were signed. Yes. Uh, yeah. when, when is the defense going to prepare? To prepare, yes. yes. Yeah. But nonetheless, I'm prepared. The only thing I'm not prepared is to go to the military court, and I'm going to fight it to the end. 
uh, when the point of inquiry of General Marshall is not yet given, because I'll be saying other soldiers must be so victimized. You know, you go and defend, people say things about you, you are made this bad looking guy, but that confidential thing, Mashwala, the general wrote about me, stands somewhere there. I might want a promotion in the future, they will read it in confidence. This man is bad, bad news. Whereas, it, it, I mean, innocent man who, who just did to, to blow the whistle. Because for me, it's ridiculous to charge a person with so many, for small things like this, <laughs> so many charges. It's very much ridiculous. Colonel, with all respect, in my 30 years that I've been in the military, it's the first time that I've seen a man charged with so many charges. Yes. And with so little procedure being followed in, in the system. It's, as a, I've, I've just got two further questions for you, sir. During the meeting with Colonel Drost um, on charge 7, was there anybody else in the room except for Colonel Drost and um, Linsby. Linsby? There was nobody else in the room, but I can attest to one thing, that uh, our voices did go higher between me and the Colonel. And uh, I say this with a bit of shame. I was supposed in a way to handle my own emotions. But it was difficult because he was like saying, he was chucking me out of the office. And as an officer, there's a drill for office orders. And uh, I, I felt it's unfair that he would expect me to march without the full drill of office orders. Mm -hmm. If it was informal, like I thought, it would have been okay. The other thing that also caused a lot of, uh, you know, kind of a run in there was the fact that uh, the uh, Colonel there, now General Drost, um, had already, you know, bought into the idea that I had refused to salute Colonel Plainance a month before. Remember there was the issue mm -hmm. where they alleged that I walked in without saluting him and he had to call me to salute me, blah, 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 again. Now, for me it was important for <laughs> General Trost to, to return my salute so that I can be sure he saw me saluting him. Otherwise I was going to get a second allegation that I refused to salute my seniors and I look actually like a terrible guy who has a problem with white tees. If anybody who reads this, says, this guy has a problem working with white people, where is this not the case? So I, I, I felt it's important, it's office orders, say I've saluted you with due respect. Never. But yet, sir, as a third party, um, from what I see, it was not actually office orders because you were not properly informed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the assumption is, um, it is, it is, as a third party, what I'm seeing is if one cannot bring a colonel on proper office orders yes. and there is a discipline slash racial problem that exists during a course. Um, now, many years ago, I was taught, show me the people and I'll show you the leader, show me the leader and I'll show you the people. Mm -hmm. And it is frightening when I see that basic structures are not being adhered to, which then indicates that I can understand that there was a problem at the school itself. It was a problem um, of the it's just, I'm yes. just, That's just an observation as if, a third party. If, if, even for myself, uh, MDC, Rule one of two until rule. You read MDC, it will give you all the steps, all mm. the steps until you go, you mm. get to the court martial. Mm. All those steps were not followed totally, they, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were flawed. And yet, so when you left, that's my final question, when you left, you did salute. You mean now with Colonel Drost? With Colonel Drost. I did salute, but the salute was the cost now of the charge now, because this, the charge yeah. is. Uh, I, I, I ordered him to charge to... No, he says I salute him. <laughs> no, that's that's <laughs> ridiculous. I saluted the wall and then turned and say, you salute me, I will salute the wall. That's his allegation. And did he salute you on leaving, sir? He did not. Not that I can recall. He did not. He did not because remember, he was physically throwing me out. I had to... Because now Raymond was between me and him, my, my, my fellow uh, lieutenant colonel. So I had to leave. I, I had to leave. And, but my voice was high for the one reason I intended because it was in the corridor of the Army College. Mm. I repeated, I only expected the, the Colonel to return my salute. My voice was high because I intended people next door to hear that the issue is about salute. I don't want to be hit back with this allegation that I don't salute my seniors. From our side, thank you very much, Colonel.